Steve, disappointing result this afternoon. It seems a very long time since uh, we've seen Corby Town uh, beaten. But um, what's your view on this afternoon? We weren't good enough, start to finish. Um, you know, we just we we went to the races. Uh, we've even we've went one 0 up in the game, and 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 then we've we've allowed them back into it. Okay, the, the goal they've scored from forty odd yard. It's a it's a wonder strike to to get back in the game, but. There was there was other th nitty gritty bits before that, that that we weren't on that we you know that we normally are. Um, yeah, we've 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 had an off day today and we've we've been punished. It, it was uh, did you say a wonder strike or a winded strike? Because it was certainly wind assisted, wasn't it? But uh, it, it 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 was these the, these the kind of conditions that never suit Corby Town, or is it just the fact they don't play with them like other teams kind of think? We'll we'll chance it a bit. We'll use the wind. We'll take a shot when we can and just uh, see what happens. Probably, yeah. I mean, we we probably try and stick to to a game plan maybe too much, um, even even in the in the, the different conditions. Um, you know, you, you you look back at the, the the last game that we we, we got beaten. That was um, back at the the start of uh, December against Didcot and the the weather um, that was that was that day. Um, and 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 that's that's you know maybe maybe it's, it's something that I've got to look at. Maybe it's something that, that as a as a squad we've got to maybe readjust to if it. If the if the conditions are different, then then we maybe need to maybe adjust to them rather than rather than just trying to keep going what and do the things that we're good at. Um, and uh, you know yeah yeah you could you could go on about that, but at the end of the day, I think they've had two maybe three shots on goal and, and, and scored two of them. We've had umpteen shots on goal and 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 haven't haven't um, haven't got any more than than the one in the in the first half. I don't want to draw to talk about the uh, officials this afternoon. Uh, I know that they. I have this 15 minute breathing period where they can then answer questions but uh, it seems that there were a few decisions that didn't particularly go your way but uh, there's nothing you can take there's nothing you can make back from that time is there no there's, there's no point in uh, you know you get you get some some good referees at, at this level that you can you can uh, have a have a discussion with and and you, you speak to them and, and kind of find out well what was that for or what was that for and and, and you know they give you, they give you what they've seen, and, and you kind of take that. In the, when a referee tells you, "I'm not speaking to you," you, you, you know what? What do? You, how? What do you take from that? Is do you take from that that he thinks he's made the wrong decision? You know, maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's 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 seen that he's made the wrong decision, and and um, he doesn't want to talk about it. You know, when when a referee treats you like a human, and, and, and you, you you have a discussion about things, then you know you you, you can you can kind of things. Ah, oh, well, maybe I didn't agree with that or whatever, but you move on quickly. When a referee will just tell you that I'm not speaking to you, uh, move away, uh, then it, it's kind of it's I don't I don't understand why two human beings can't speak to each other. Um, that that's that's kind of my frustration with with. With what what happens because to this to this point we don't know why the the, the everybody in the 400 people can see a, a corner uh, given to us that should have should have been the first half that was blatant um, and and the the other nitty gritty bits I mean we've got Sam Grouse in there that's probably going to be out for the rest of the season now with a with a horrific tackle uh, just under the knee and not even a booking um, for that tackle did they not see that I don't know. Um, and then, and then obviously the, the the goal we got at the end again looked legit from where I was standing. I spoke to the linesman again. Linesman was very respectful and spoke, and he says from his angle nothing, you know. Uh, but he asked the referee, and I don't want to speak to you. So you can't even get an, an opinion from from the guy that's making these decisions. That's that's the frustrating part of it, you know. Um, so I don't I don't know what the referee's thinking was on, on some decisions because he wouldn't speak to me. Well, well, I was going to ask about Sam Grass, of course. Uh, he came on as a substitute. He was on for a matter of 10 minutes or so and then took a really bad tackle. And it looks like, as you say, he could be out for quite some time. But um, where does this leave you? You're back at Steel Park again next week uh, with a week to uh, not so much change anything because nothing's broken, but uh, just get people's heads in the right place, I guess. Yeah, look, we're, we're a young squad. We're learning. Um, again, I could, have, I could have went out and, and, and got, you know, five, six... Gary Mulligans and, and Elliot Sandys and, and, and filled the team with, with players that are, are coming to the, the, the latter stages of their career with maybe two or three seasons left in them. But no, we've went, we've, we, this football club's building, this football club's going in the right direction. We've got young, hungry football players there that have had an off day today. Um, they're going to have them throughout the season. It's, it's, we're eight points now off the, off the top of the league, probably looking like it might not be a, a, a league championship this year, but we'll keep going. You never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, we've, we'll, 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 
the worst case scenario, we'll, we'll be in the playoffs and we, we give that a good go. Um, and, and we've got 14 games left here to, to give it a good go and make sure this team uh, sticks to what it's good at. You know, we're, we're, we're a team that wants to wants to play exciting football, wants to score goals, wants to get forward and get in the box. And you look at you look at the last what six, seven, eight games, how many goals we've scored and, and how exciting we've been. That's, that, that doesn't change with one bad afternoon. We've had, we've had a, an off afternoon today. Uh, it's disappointing. There's nobody going to be more disappointed than myself um, with that. But at the same time, if we if we linger on that and, and we take that into next week, we take that into the next week, then it, it just becomes a hangover, um, and that's not what we're that's not what we're here for. We're, we're here to get back on it, put put as 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 well as we can another performance um, back to where we are next week, and we'll we'll take it on from there and, and we'll just see what happens. Steve, appreciate your words, Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.